let VEA help you turn the lights on. We're recreating the murder scene. Now, there's nine suspects involved in this. And frankly, I've got to solve this whole thing in one night. I used to be a cop until I took a bullet in the kneecap and I had to retire. They wouldn't have me write a desk, but I didn't like that, so I became a private eye. Anyway, on this one, I need your help. We're going to invite you people to come on in. You pay the $18 to see the show that she's directing. And we're going to, we know people think better after they've had something to eat, so we're going to give you dinner along with it. And then... At intermission, after you've had a chance to see all the suspects and whatnot like that, we're going to ask you to vote for who you really think the killer is. Then we'll go through the votes, and usually everybody's right, and that's who the killer is. So come on down and give me a hand, because I've only got one night to get this done with. So tickets are $18, and like you said, that includes dinner. Uh, you have three weekends total, right? Yes, there's a total of six shows, and it's very fabulous. We've got a lot of characters, and they're all guilty. If you watch the show, there are so many guilty characters. And Murders in the Air will be playing on August 19th, 20th, on the 26th and 27th, and on September 2nd and 3rd. And that starts at 7 p.m. No, no, no. no oh, no. I'm wrong. Oh. We open the oh. doors at 5.30. That's when we serve dinner. Oh, and then yes, at 6.30, the show starts. We want to get oh. some of these people who, you know, go to bed early, home in time to go to bed. And by the way, you should mention, it's at New Hope Fellowship, which is 781 West Street in Pahrump. Right. Fabulous. See, it's going to be a great show. It's going to be wonderful. I didn't know we were starting early. That's wonderful, Mike. Did you come up with that idea? Uh, no, I think God did. Oh, okay. All right. For more information, is there a number to call? Yes. For more tickets, you can get them at the community library, or you can call 727-6145.